This is a quick update of our big picture analysis on silver. We're going to look at the monthly, weekly, and daily analysis. And uh, you're going to see that there's some downside risk now, but it's selling, setting up a bullish opportunity for later. So we're going to take a quick look at this. We're going to start out with monthly chart and look at the weekly and daily. And remember, we do cycle analysis here at Ask Slim. And that means we're looking at the money flows, the rhythms of the market. And this is a monthly chart of silver going back 23 years. Uh, and there are just amazing harmonics in here. The harmonics just like music, where it shows different time frames of uh, movements of money coming in and money coming out. And the bigger the cycle right over here is really it represents the longer term holders. The shorter ones are the shorter term holders. So what we're looking at right now is, well, we're in a spot where we're likely going to complete this minor cycle right over here, which is in this uptrend right there. Let me just zoom in quickly and you can see right in here that this minor cycle and this dashed is the gold. So you can see there's a good alignment with gold and silver on the monthly chart. It says that right, oh, right now it's coming down into the buy zone with just a short period of time to go for this correction. And this configuration, this cycle right over here, shows that the corrective period is well, well above where this started, a bullish configuration. It says at very least the next rally or this next rising phase will get you back up to the highs. That's the highest probability with a potential of getting up over here into the mid 30s sometime in this period out, out here into 2025. So this corrective period right over here is ending and you can see this is labeled as a buy zone right over here as it makes that pullback so that is a look at the monthly chart getting ready to complete the correction and move to the upside now there's a beautiful alignment in here of the weekly and daily charts which are telling you very something very similar this is the weekly chart here on the left this is the daily chart here on the right so what you have here is this corrective period right over here matching up with gold also as they move down right over here with what looks like a few weeks to go. Now the these two blue lines are where you're looking at as the likely pullback time frame. In other words, this is the bottoming period right in here. And this says you might have another two, three, four weeks to go on the downside, very much in alignment with what we were looking for on the monthly chart. And you can see in here where this then points to gold and silver moving up in this period of strength, uh, where all the monthly, weekly, and daily cycles will be aligned moving to the upside. So you can see in here, once this correction is over with, we have projected this rising phase. That should get uh, silver back up into the 30s. Now, it might have to do a lot of work in here, and maybe this small cycle over here out into the beginning of the year, you know, is where it kind of build some bases right in here and doesn't do that well this year but then may turn up December, January, February out into here for that bigger upside move. So you can see in here this is the corrective phase. You could see the uh, the Slim reversal scout right over here which is our moment and indicator on the weekly did turn negative right over here. And then you had this kind of double top that formed and you have negative momentum going on right over here. Here you have the daily chart and you can see that the slim ribbon turning bearish and pointing down the slim ribbon PO right over here give you another downside resumption signal. This is a level four indicator and this points out about two or three weeks of further correction. So this is why I say that there is downside risk right now because you have monthly weekly and daily all pointing to the downside certainly you could get silver down here to 26 or lower in these next few weeks but then you get this upside move right over here where the cash flows change the capitulation ends right in here and you begin to build your base and come up out over here into this september period so again this cycle right over here you could see the alignment with gold also and that says that these next few weeks have downside risk and same thing in the weekly, same thing in the monthly. But then after that, it sets up this period of strength after some base building period probably here in these next couple of months after you make this low.
So right now we're going to call for further downside, maybe 26 in silver. And then after that, moving to the upside, potentially very significantly. That is your big picture analysis update on silver.